E8 can be thought of as the densest or most efficient way to pack eight-dimensional spheres in an eight-dimensional space. And every time those spheres kiss, they kiss at a point. And so the E8 lattice is this set of points that um, are defined by the kissing points of, these, of this densest and most efficient packing of eight-dimensional spheres. And then you can make the E8 crystal out of that lattice of points by drawing lines or connections between near neighbor points. And that's not all. Yeah, what else? And that's not all. E8 is also the largest exceptional Lie algebra, or largest exceptional Lie group. And a good way to understand that is to think about reflections. So if I, can I get a prop? Mm -hmm. You have this idea that if you're in a barber shop and you have two mirrors and you look in one, you see an infinity of reflections. Well, in these lattices that relate to dense sphere packing, which are the special lattices, um, they, they have angles that are at 60 degrees, the faces to one another, and they don't reflect the way you see a reflection with two opposing mirrors, like in the barber shop. They only um, reflect a finite number. They don't go to infinity. So if we take this mirrored cell, which is a cell of a certain type of lattice, and... Wait, what now? Lean forward just a little bit, yep, and then, and then hold it up higher, yeah. So if we take this mirrored tetrahedron, I shouldn't have been looking over there. So if we take this mirrored tetrahedron, which itself is a cell in the fundamental lattice, which is the maximum packing of spheres in three dimensions, and we notice that the reflections don't go to infinity, they end. So you can say, okay, well, what's the, what's the most complex lattice where none of the reflections go to infinity? Because when it goes to infinity, you have a sort of breakdown in this set where you can count the reflections. And so you can do this in 3D, like this. You can go to 4D, 5D lattices of the dense sphere packing related lattices. And then you go to 8D and you get the reflections that, that don't go to infinity. And then if you go to 90 or 10 dimensions or 1 million dimensions, the party is over. It ends at eight dimensions. Like it goes to infinity in the, in, in the crystals of the, Af after, the sphere packing crystals? After 8D, these reflections explode to infinity. So you, you, if you're interested in these lattices that have reflections, and these lattices are relating to vector algebras called Lie algebras. So if you're interested in the ones that have these finite set of reflections, where it just reflects less than an infinity of times, and there are some important mathematical reasons why that's important, which, which we don't have to get into now, but we can say, all right, well, presuming this is important that that you're looking at the lattices where the reflections don't just explode or deviate toward infinity, you can ask a question. You can say, well, what is the lattice and the associated Lie algebra where it doesn't explode to infinity? Like, what's the largest one? You mean largest, you mean highest dimensional one? Yeah, the high, what is the highest dimensional lattice that doesn't do that? And the lattices that don't do that are are related to algebras that are called exceptional Lie algebras. So the largest exceptional Lie algebra is the E8 Lie algebra, and that's associated with a lattice, which is the lattice that we've been speaking of, which is related to the densest packing of spheres in eight dimensions. Just so I understand, so, so when you're talking about 
um, these reflections in these lattice. First of all, all of these are lattices, right? Yes. Talking about, so, so you're only talking about when you say that in ninety it explodes into infinity. The reflections mm -hmm. you're talking about the ninety lattice that is associated with the packing of ninety spheres. Yes, so but but not not just the ones that are associated with the maximal packing of 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 ninety spheres. So all of the lattices after whether it's the maximum sphere packing ones or not, all of the lattices of this class that are based on equilateral triangles or 60 degree angles, all of them up to infinity, like the E1 million lattice or the D1 million lattice, all of them explode to infinity in terms of their reflections um, after eight dimensions. Eight dimensions is the end of the road when it comes to this special and important mathematical quality of a finite number of reflections. And so algebraically, right, in the E8 Lie algebra, which is a vector algebra, this is very important for doing mathematical physics. And so in some sense, you could say that if you're focused on that important mathematical quality and you want the richest Lie algebra or associated lattice, you want to go with this eight dimensional lattice or crystal correlated to the maximum sphere packing in eight dimensions and it's associated vector algebra, the E8 Lie algebra. Mm -hmm.